Good morning. We'll start this morning off with um, prayer, then we'll officially start our session with the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray. Dear Gracious Heavenly Father, God, thank you again for a wonderful weekend. Uh, we just thank you for the weather that you have us. God, we just ask for rain, though, as well. And be with us today as we go about um, the business of the county. And be with our men and women in the military and their families, um, those in harm's way, bring them home. Um, and those who are hurting in our county, God, again, place your comforting hand upon them. In Jesus' name, for our sake, amen. Amen. I'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Judy, we'll let the record show too. Commissioner Humphrey is unable to be with us today. And Connie, would you like a chair? <laughs> I might need one. <laughs> a drink or something? To keep... <laughs> All right, item one, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director, Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of Count Claremont County Commissioners, to execute an agreement buying between the county, the county of Claremont, Ohio, and Presley Ridge, located in Cincinnati, Ohio, whose administrative office is located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for the provision of intensive home-based services to children and, and or their families, referred by the Department of Job and Family Services, who are at risk of the children being removed from the home, as well as those who have recently returned home from an out-of-home placement at the rate of $89 per hour per family for face-to-face -face contact, for a maximum of two hours per week, for a total maximum per week of $178 per family, effective July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2016, pursuant to in compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. Is there a motion then to execute the agreement between the county and Presley Ridge as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Gubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Two, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of Department of John Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute an agreement by and between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and William W. Moore, Ph.D., from Cincinnati, Ohio, for the provision of psychological evaluations for children and adults referred by the Department of John and Family Services, Children's Protective Services Division, as well as court testimonies relative thereto at the rates as identified therein, effective July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2016, pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. Is there a motion then to execute the agreement between the county and Dr. Moore as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Three, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute a purchase of service agreement by and between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and Foundations for Living in Mansfield, Ohio, for the provision of residential treatment services for children referred by the Department of Job and Family Services and or Claremont County Juvenile Court at the rate of $212.18 per day, effective July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2016, pursuant to in compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. Is there a motion then to execute the reference purchase of service agreement as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Ubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Okay. Four, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute a purchase of service agreement by and between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and Fox Run Center for Children and Adolescents, located in St. Clairsville, Ohio, for the provision of residential treatment services for a specific child to be referred by the Department of Job and Family Services at the rate of $299.19 per day, effective July 1, 2015 through June, June 30, 2016, pursuant to an compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein and contingent upon the receipt of a revised certificate of liability insurance, therefore. Is there a motion then to uh, execute the purchase of service agreement? Um, 
between the county and Fox Run Center for Children and Adolescents as recommended. I'll make the motion. I'll second that. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Five, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Pry Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute a 4D service contract by and between the Department of Job and Family Services, Child Support Enforcement Division, and the Claremont County Sheriff, Sheriff Batavia, Ohio, for the provision of services relative to child support enforcement, including execution of personal service of process and or execution of arrest warrants at the rate of $44.15 per unit hour, for a total of 700 units, for a total amount not to exceed $30,901.69, effective April 1, 2015 through, um, through March 31, 2016, pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. Is there a motion then to execute the 4D service contract between the Department of Job and Family Services on behalf of child support um, and the sheriff as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Six, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute a purchase of service agreement by and between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and Adopt America Network, located in Toledo, Ohio, for the provision of adoptive services for two children in the permanent custody of the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services, including but not necessarily limited to home study updates, home visits, monitor monitoring supportive services, and providing written supervisory reports to the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services at the rate of $2,500 upon placement of a child and $3,500 upon court finalization for a total amount not to exceed $6,000 per child if the adoption is finalized within 365 days in an adoptive placement or at the rate of $2,500 upon placement of a child and $2,500 upon court finalization for a total amount not to exceed $5,000 for a child if the adoption is finalized beyond 365 days of an adoptive placement. Effective upon execution through December 31st, 2016, pursuant to an compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. Is there a motion then to execute the purchase of service agreement between the county and Adopt America Network as recommended? I'll make a motion for item six. I will second that. Shubal? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. And we pray for a successful. Yes. <laughs> a seven, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to adopt resolution number 94-15, resolving to find that the case filing system listed in Exhibit A, attached thereto and made a part thereof, is determined obsolete and has no value for the use of Claremont County, and therefore determines that it would be dis it should be disposed, pursuant to in compliance with section 307.12. One of the higher of the higher revised code, and subsequent thereto, to authorize the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services Child Support Enforcement Division to delete the items from their inventory. Is there a motion then to adopt resolution number 94-15 as recommended? So moved. I will second the motion. Mr. Yubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. <clears throat> and eight, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, or in his absence, any other member of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute the agreement by and between the Board of Claremont County Commissioners on behalf of the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services and Language Line Services Incorporated, located in Monterey, California, for interpreter services to customers who call in or come into the agency and do not speak the English language at the rates as defined therein with an estimated annual cost not to exceed $9,000, effective July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2017, pursuant to an compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. Is there a motion then to, um, author um, to execute the agreement between the commissioners um, and language line services as recommended. So moved. Second. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? 
Yay. Connie, I know that there are tons of languages that are available for them. Yeah. And every one of those languages it's this company can, can provide? Um, th there's a list, the only attachment of all the languages mm -hmm. that that covers and it's it's many many of them but when you walk in especially by child support and you see mm -hmm. all of the languages mm -hmm. David there are languages I never even heard of yes mm -hmm. <laughs> you're right Wow uh, item 9 please recommendation of Judy Eshman director of Department Job and Family Services with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt County Administrator to appoint and or reappoint the following representatives to serve on the Claremont County Family Services Planning Committee for the term of July 1st, 2015 through June 30th, 2017, for the purpose of gathering public input and reviewing and making program recommendations and developing and maintaining a community plan to implement Ohio Works First, pursuant to a compliance with Section 329.06 of the Ohio Revised Code and other programs established under Chapter 5107, Ohio Works First Program, and Chapter 5108. Prevention, Retention, and Contingency Program of the Ohio Revised Code. And um, the members that we're appointing here include uh, the reappointment of Judy Eshman, the Director of Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services, reappointment of Gretchen B. Heimer, uh, Family and Children First Program Director, uh, reappointment of Karen Shira, the Executive Director of the Claremont County Mental Health and Recovery Board, uh, a new appointment of Dan Otke, Superintendent of the Claremont County Board of Developmental Disabilities, a reappointment of Carolyn Brinkman, the Director of Parent Services for it's the Comprehensive Community Child Care 4C for Children, and a reappointment of Berta, I'm not sure I can pronounce this right, Villa, Director of the Claremont County Head Start. I think it's, what is it? Um, Valia. Valia. Yeah. Berta Valia. I, I know double L's mean a Y. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that could be an interpretive service. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Is there a motion then um, to make the appointments or reappointments to our Family Services Planning Committee as recommended? So moved. Second. Jubal. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Ten, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Prow, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute a subgrant agreement by and between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services, Claremont County Juvenile Court, and the Claremont County Prosecutor's Office for the provision of federal financial participation funding for legal services provided by the Claremont County Prosecutor's Office on behalf of Children's Protective Services in an esti estimated amount not to exceed $65,000, effective for the period of July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2016, pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. Is there a motion then to execute the reference subgrant agreement as recommended? So moved. Second the motion. So you vote? Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Eleven, please. You're just rolling along. <laughs> Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to adopt resolution number 95-15, resolving to approve the designation of Warren County as fiscal agent and administrative entity for the Ohio Area 12 Workforce, Air Workforce Area, effective July 1, 2015, and further to execute the revised Area 12 Intergovernmental Agreement by and between the Butler County Board of Commissioners, the Claremont County Board of Commissioners, and the Warren County Board of Commissioners, previously ratified by the Board of Claremont County Commissioners on April the 6th, 2005, and subsequently revised on June 27, 2012, to establish a comprehensive regional workforce development system for Butler, Claremont, and Warren counties, and to implement the Workforce Investment Act and other federal, state, or local workforce development initiatives which reflects the new designation, therefore, and identifies Warren County as the fiscal agent and the administrative entity for Ohio 12 Workforce Area effective July 1, 2015, as well as the program name change of Workforce Investment Act, WEA, to WEOA, due to the enforcement of the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, which will become effective on July 1, 2015. With said revised Area 12 Intergovernmental Agreement to replace and supersede the Area 12 Intergovernmental Agreement 
ratified the Board of County Commissioners on June 27, 2012, therefore, effective on July 1, 2015, and to remain in effect until terminated by any party or until authorizing legislation expires, pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. Just to get a little update, too, is that Claremont County had been the administrative and fiscal uh, entity um, for our Area 12, and um, <coughs> Warren County decided that, um, that they were willing to take their turn at doing it as well. Butler County had had it before. And so we w definitely wish them well on that. Look forward to working with them. This will be for how long, Connie? Do you know? It's, there's no time. There's no specific time. Until they, t until they make a change. Right. Okay. Is there a motion then to adopt resolution number 95-15 as recommended? So moved. I will gladly second that. Schubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Item 12, please. Recommendation of Judy Eschman, Director of Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute Amendment Number Two to the Subgrant Agreement buying between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and Easter Seals Tri-State LLC in Cincinnati, Ohio, previously ratified by the Board of County Commissioners on June 25, 2014, and subsequently amended on June 25, 2014 for the provision of Workforce Investment Act, WIA, Youth Services, and a Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, TANF, Summer Youth Employment Program for Eligible Youth in Claremont County, Ohio, for the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services, Ohio Means Jobs Claremont Division, to revise the WIA Youth Services Program budget to one, increase equipment costs in the amount of $2,000, and two, decrease supportive services in the amount of $2,000 in order to reflect a more accurate budget based on actual expenses incurred for use served, with no change to the total subgrant agreement amount as outlined in Exhibit A attached thereto and made a part thereof, effective for the period of April 1, 2015 through June 30, 2015, with all other terms and conditions of the original subgrant agreement and amendment thereto to remain in full force and effect. Is there a motion then to execute amendment number? Um, two to the subgrant agreement as recommended. I'll make the motion for item 12. I'll second that motion. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. 13, please. Recommendation of Judy Eschman, Director of Department of Job and Family Service, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute an extension of subgrant agreement, which exercises the first renewal option of the subgrant agreement buying between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and Easter Seals Tri-State LLC from Cincinnati, Ohio, pursuant to Article 4A of the original agreement, previously ratified by the Board of County Commissioners on June 25, 2014, and subsequently amended on June 25, 2014, and June 15, 2015, for the provision of Workforce Investment Act Youth Services and TANF Summer Youth Employment Program for eligible youth in Claremont County, Ohio, for the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services, Ohio Means Jobs Claremont Division, with said extension of subgrant agreement effective for the period of July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2016, with all of the terms of the kitchen sets forth in the original subgrant agreement and amendments thereto to remain in full force and effect. Is there a motion then to execute the extension of <coughs> subgrant agreement? with Easter Seals as recommended. So moved. Second. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. 14, please. Recommendation of Judy Eschman, Director of Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute Amendment Number 3 to the subgrant agreement buying between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and Easter Seals Tri-State in Cincinnati, Ohio, previously ratified by the Board of County Commissioners on June 25, 2014, and subsequently amended on June 25, 2014, and June 15, 2015, as well as extended through an extension of subgrant agreement on June 15, 2015, for the provision of Workforce Investment Act Youth Services and a te Temporary Assistance for Needy Families Summer Youth Employment Program for eligible youth in Claremont County, Ohio, for the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services, Ohio Means Jobs Claremont Division, which represents modifications necessary to comply with the new Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act statutory requirements for the upcoming program year 2015, beginning July 1, 2015, as outlined therein. 
with no change to the total subground sub grant agreement amount effective for the period of July 1, 2015 through June 30, 2016, with all other item all other terms and conditions of the original sub grant agreement, amendments and extension of agreement thereto to remain in full force and effect. Is there a motion then to execute amendment number three to the reference sub grant agreement as recommended? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Crown? Yay. Thank you. You sure you don't want to keep going? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I'm glad you gave her a little respite there. She's going to be right back, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Good item number 15 is a recommendation from myself, Wade Grabowski, um, with the concurrence of Mr. Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to authorize Mr. Robert L. Proud, Vice President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute a contract for minor public improvement projects by and between the Board of Commissioners of Claremont County, Ohio, and DeBraw Kempel, Cincinnati, Ohio, for the installation of the replacement condensing units, 140 ton and 130 ton, and air handling unit number two that serves the north portion of the Claremont County Municipal Court facility in accordance with the scope of services identified in Exhibit A, attached thereto and made a part thereof, in an amount not to exceed $44,645 pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein, and further to affirm the installation of the aforesaid equipment accordingly. All right, is there a motion then um, to execute the contract for minor public improvement with um, Campbell as recommended? And I'll make a motion for item 15. I will second that. Mr. Yubel? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. And 16, please. And item number 16 is, upon the advice of Alan Edwards, Assistant Prosecuting Attorney of the Board of County Commissioners, resolves to authorize payment in the amount of $44,645 to DeBraw Campbell um, out of Cincinnati, Ohio, for the installation of two 40-ton condensing units serving air handler unit number one that supports the south portion of the Claremont County Municipal Court facility, subsequent to the assessment by DeBraw Campbell Incorporated of the issue relative to the oversized condensing units of the HVAC system previously designed and believed to be redundant in nature, which the here to four were installed accordingly there and after as a more obligation relative thereto and contingent upon the issuance and receipt of the purchase order in concert with requisition number 12163 dated 11615 required therefore you want to put that in english yeah we're uh this was a complicated situation we had multiple systems that were being replaced now we basically just want to get the company paid for the work has been completed um so, and it, and it was one of those purchasing things between us thinking we were getting one thing on GSA contract and having some issues in between. So this is what's going to make it right okay. and to get the contractor paid. Is there a motion then um, to authorize the payment um, as recommended? I'll make a motion for item 16. Second. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. 17, please. Sander, you want to cover 17? Bob, you want to cover 17? Thanks, Wade. Thank you. Thanks. I'm going to stand next to Mr. Sander just for... To make sure he gets it right? <laughs> Morning, Commissioners. Morning. Bob Sander, Human Resources. Item 17 is the recommendation of Wade Grabowski, Facilities Management Director, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Rabel, County Administrator to adopt a revised table of organization for the Claremont County Facilities Management Department to number one, delete the vacant positions of Facilities Management Project Manager, classification 79635, pay range A, and Facilities Management Program Manager 2, classification 79436, pay range A, two, to delete the positions of FM Specialist 2, classification 49113, pay range 10, 1 FM Coordinator, classification 49114, pay range 14, and Fiscal Support Specialist, classification 19132, pay range 10, and number 3, to add the positions of Facilities Management Assistant Director, class number 89224, pay range C. Carpenter 3, classification 49285, pay range 16. 
Security Locksmith, classification 49275, pay range 16, and Heat Fact Coordinator, classification 59153, pay range 14, and Administrative Support Coordinator, classification number 19143, pay range 12, and to reflect the changes outlined therein, effective today, June 15, 2015, and to further authorize the update and appropriate internet links and appendices accordingly. And Mr. Grubowski might want to address that. We are, let me uh, sneak around you, Bob. We are cleaning up the table of organization for facilities management as well as adding the positions that we've been discussing for several months, uh, primarily the HVAC uh, position, uh, which will give us two, and then the assistant um, director, which will give me a little relief um, in the process. That also eliminates all the positions that were not needed or not on our t table of organization, but we decided not to not to repost for any of them. So you're adding the HVAC person because we used contractors so much it was easier to put somebody on staff? I don't want to be a control freak, but I am. Yes, I need to have people here. Um, the, the problem, the issue we get into with one HVAC person and still handling their vacations and all is I constantly have to have outside contractors. It doesn't mean for larger things we still won't use them, but for the day-to-day -day stuff, uh, it's a lot. It's a, a big dollar amount to pay um, for that everyday you know, charging, checking, cleaning, and that type of thing. And, and it's just too much work in one ca this county for one person. Being a control freak is good for the constituents, but it's bad for the employees. But well, not really. We're here for the constituents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they don't seem to complain all that much. They show up for work once in a while, so I'm okay with it. So right. what, what effect does this have on the budget? Uh, Mr. Rabel, I know you had the breakdown, or Suki had it. Suki, you remember talk ahead. There's a general fund impact, and then there's a total county impact. Okay. And the ones that we, the um, positions that we eliminated too were empty. They vacant. were. Yeah. They were vacant. So they were vacant. Not in yeah. Okay. Or reclassified by. Is there a motion then um, to adopt the reference revised table of organization for our, our facilities management department as recommended? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. And I do promise, Mr. Rabel, that I will take a vacation as soon as all these people are hired. <laughs> saying that for five years, we. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 18, County Treasurer. All right, 18 is a recommendation of uh, uh, Robert True, County and Treasurer, with my concurrence to authorize Robert L. Proud, <laughs> Vice President of the Board of County Commission, to execute a software maintenance agreement by and between the County of Claremont and Nortech of Georgia for the provision of support and maintenance services relative to the RICO cashiering system for a total amount not to exceed $9,565, effective 7 1 15 through 6 30 of 16, pursuant to compliance with terms and conditions. Is there a motion then to execute the software maintenance agreement between the county and Nortech as recommended? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Ubel? Um, yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Chuck, did you want to comment on that? I guess that's why you're here, right? No, it's for the treasurer. Oh, treasure. No, treasurer, I'm sorry. I knew there was something else there. I'm sorry. You still might want to comment on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, item 19. Doug? Okay. Morning. Morning. Number 19, a re recommendation of Pat Munger, the county engineer, with concurrence to Steve Rabel, the county administrator, to execute record plat number 629-2924 for the replat of lots in the following subdivision located in Union Township, Weatherby Farm Subdivision Section 6A, a replat of lot number 6304 and 382 to create new lot numbers 382-A, 487, 488, and 489. Is there a motion then to execute the referenced record plat as recommended? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. 20, please. 20 is a recommendation of Steve Rabel, the county administrator, to acknowledge the receipt of a notification from Pat Munger, the county engineer, on June 4, 2015, of his determination to close the following roads to, through traffic 
with the understanding that all advanced warning and detour signs will be erected and maintained accordingly pursuant to and comply with section 5543.17 of the Ohio Revised Code. Chilo Cemetery McKendry Chapel Road between 2903 and 2950. Chilo Cemetery McKendry Chapel Road located in Washington and Franklin Townships beginning Monday, June 8th through Friday, June 19th between the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. for six culvert replacements commencing at 2903 Chilo Cemetery McKendry Chapel Road and upon completion thereof northwest thereafter as depicted on the Chilo Cemetery McKendry Chapel culvert replacements detour map. Motion then to acknowledge the receipt of the uh, notice from our county engineer of the referenced road closings as recommended. So moved. Second. Doable. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. 21, please. Number 21 is a recommendation of Pat Mung of the county engineer, concurrence of Steve Rabel, the county administrator, to reject all bids, therefore, received on May 7th, 2015, for project number BA 05 15 for the Claremont County Airport Obstruction Removal Project located in Batavia Township. And as much as two of the three bids received were in excess of 10% of the engineer's estimate, with the surety provided for the remaining bid upon review of the Office of the Prosecuting Attorney being rendered null and void due to inconsistencies in the effective date, therefore, pursuant to and compliance with the statutory requirements for competitive bidding relative thereto. Is there a motion then um, to reject all the bids for the reference project as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. 22, please. Round 2 is a recommendation of Patrick Munger, the county engineer, concurrence of Steve Rabel, the county administrator, to execute a contract for minor public improvement projects by and between the Board of County Commissioners of Claremont County, Ohio, and Evans Landscaping out of Cincinnati, Ohio, for the project number BA 05 15 relative to the Claremont County Airport Obstruction Removal Project located in Batavia Township and in accordance with the scope of services identified in Exhibit A, attached thereto and made a part thereof, in the amount not to exceed. $49,999 with said services to be completed within 60 days of contractor's receipt of signed contract and notice to proceed from the Claremont County Engineer pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein and contingent upon the issuance and receipt of the purchase order in concert with requisition number 00014237.00 dated May 21st. They're required therefore. So I take it that they were not one of the bidders? They were the original, all the Original bids had to be rejected as number 21, and we were able to negotiate a price less than 50000 which is does not need to go through the public bidding process. Oh, so you don't have to rebid? No. Well, what was the, the amounts that were in excess of 10% over? What one were one of the bids was 52, the other was in the 60 or $70,000 range. Well, below all of them, good. Yeah. Okay. Is there a motion then to execute a contract for minor public improvement project? Um, between the county and Evans Landscaping as recommended. So moved. Second the motion. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. 23, please. Amendment 3 is a recommendation of Pat Munger, the county engineer, with concurrence of Steve Rabel, the county administrator, to award the bid for project number RS 05 15 relative to the 2015 road resurfacing program located in various townships and municipalities pursuant to the specifications to bear paving materials out of Middletown, Ohio. For the lowest and best bid received on May 14th in the amount of $2,556,815.46 and to execute the contract relative thereto pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein and to award of bid therefore and contingent upon the issuance of purchase orders required relative thereto. Is there a motion then to make the award of bid for our road resurfacing uh, program to Barrett Paving Materials and to execute the contract? Um, contingent upon issuance of a purchase order as recommended. So moved. Second the motion. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. 24, please. Number 24 is a recommendation of Pat Munger, the county engineer, with concurrence of Steve Rabel, the county administrator, to execute an agreement by and between the Board of County Commissioners and the Monroe Township Board of Trustees relative to a landslide repair on South Altman Road in Monroe Township with the county engineer pursue funding from the Ohio Public Works Commission in the form of a grant in the amount of $193,145, which will reimburse 80% or $154,516 of the estimated cost of the proposed repairs with the required local match of funds in the amount of $38,629 or 20% of the estimated project cost, therefore, to be paid to the county engineer by Monroe Township pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein. 
It's a motion then to execute the agreement between the county and Monroe Township Board of Trustees as recommended. So moved. Second the motion. Mr. Ubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Thank Thanks, Doug. Uh, 25, please. Item 25 is a recommendation myself to authorize the issuance of procurement cards for Valerie Stanley, an employee of the Claremont County Juvenile Court, and Mark Harp, employee of the, of the Claremont County Auditor, to authorize Robert L. Proud, Vice President, to execute the requests for the issuance of procurement card relative thereto, pursuant to the Claremont County Procurement Card Policy and Procedures, adopted on 62205 and amended in 32807 and 92414. Is there a motion then to, author, to authorize issuance of the procurement cards as recommended? I'll make a motion for item 25. I will second that. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. 26, please. Unfortunately, I'm going to ask the board to table item 26. We've not yet received the documentation necessary to execute that. All right. We will table item number 26. Uh, we'll go to 27, please. I'm 27's uh, recommendation to authorize the county auditor to release Claremont County's financial data to the treasurer of the state of Ohio for implementation in the Ohio checkbook program and to authorize the county minister to execute any and all documents necessary and or required in as it relates thereto. This is, uh, of course, part of the process we had. The board had a demonstration recently from the state mm -hmm. to join the treasurer Mondell's uh, process. And I believe that's why Mr. Tilbury might be here. If you have any comments. Yes, Jeff, you want to make just a few comments about that? You said you're not sure if we're able to. Have we spoken to the prosecutor's office to? Able to. Uh, no, no, no. I, I don't think it's necessary to authorize it. We, we did public information. We public information. Public okay. Information. Yeah. Good. Oh, it is a great idea. Okay. Yeah. Is there a motion then um, to allow? <laughs> you like that one better? <laughs> Um, the Claremont County Auditor to release um, the financial um, data to the Treasurer of State in regards to the Ohio Checkbook Program and to authorize the County Administrator to execute any documents that are necessary for that as recommended. I'm very pleased to make the recommendation. I will second that. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Thanks for your cooperation and everything on that as well. Training and Travel 28, please. Claremont County Municipal Court, Judge Miles, Judge Pattison, three days, Mason, Ohio, for the Association of Municipal County Judges, Ohio Summer Conference, that's been to exceed $1,206. Cross County Attorney's Office, Maryland Burke, one day, Cincinnati, Ohio, Cincinnati Police Academy Training, Criminal Intelligence Sharing, that's been not to exceed $24.15. Lisa Vetter and Jenny Carey, one day, Cincinnati, Ohio, Ohio Domestic Violence Network Advanced Legal Advocacy Training Series. Total estimated not to exceed zero. Lisa Vetter and Jenny Carey, one day for the Ohio Domestic Violence Network Advanced Legal Advocacy Centers Part 2. Estimated not to exceed zero. And Ernie Ramos, three days, Sandusky, Ohio, for the 2015 Ohio Prosecuting Attorneys Association Summer Workshop. Not to exceed $1,136.96. County Sheriff's Office, Ryan Patton, one day, Sharonville, Ohio, for the Cincinnati Hamilton County Homeland Security Active Shooter Workshop. Estimated to exceed zero. Jason Swallen and Danny Ruck, six days. Anderson, Alabama, Federal Emergency Management Training entitled Technical Emergency Response Training, total expenses to exceed zero. And Justin Goslin, five days, Hamilton, Ohio, Butler Tech Course entitled Police Rifle Carbine, estimated not to exceed $375. Department of Job and Family Services, Tim Dick, two days, Columbus, Ohio, the Ohio Sup 
Supreme Court Ohio Judicial Symposium on Addiction and Child Welfare, not to exceed $280. Ted Groman, one day, Galapagos, Ohio, Ohio Valley Regional Development Commission quarterly meeting, not to exceed $25. And Lynn Simpson, three days, Ohio Human Service Training System Directors Conference, not to exceed $481.80. Department of Community Economic Development, Adele Evans, one day, Sharonville, Ohio, for the Great Oaks Instructional Resource Center Program, Active Shooter Workshop not to exceed $35.94. And Sherry Seymour, three days, Columbus, Ohio, for the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Region 5 Environmental Review Training, SB not to exceed $492. Palmer County Emergency Management Agency, Pam Howercross and Lori Schluter, two days, Columbus, Ohio, for the Ohio Emergency Management Agency Grants Writing Training, not to exceed $793.35. And the Board of County Commissioners, Marion Bruner, one day, Skill pass seminar, total expenses not to exceed $99. Is there a motion then to approve the training and travel requests according to our county's personnel policies and procedures? So moved. I will second the motion. Should you Yes. The crowd? Yay. Personal actions, 29, please. Any Claremont Transportation Connection, Gloria Swearingen, driver, new hire to a vacant position, effective 622. Department of Job and Family Services, Karen Howe, Administrative Support Specialist, and a probation effective 615. Jesse Schneider, Social Service Worker 2, Step Increase Effective 615. Cynthia Grayson, Social Services Worker 3, Step Increase Effective 629. Carla Clark, Social Services Worker 3, Step Increase Probation End, Effective 68. Adam Jones, Administrator for WIA, Termination Resignation, Effective 630. And Amanda Heskeith. Employment Services Consultant 1, transfer to vacant position, effective 615. Facilities Management Department, Jennifer Holt, Administrative Support Coordinator, reclass, effective 615. Danny Hall, Carpenter 3, job reclass, effective 615. Harold Lloyd, Security Locksmith, job reclass, effective 615. And Michael Turner, FM Coordinator, reclass, effective 615. Is there a motion then to approve the personal actions as recommended? I'll make a motion for the personal actions. I'll second the motion. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. 30, please. We have Sandy here. Hey, Sandy. Good morning. Good morning. Sandy Tahad, Human Resources. And item 30 is a recommendation of Judy Eshman, the Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Thomas J. Igle, Assistant County Administrator, to adopt a revised table of organization for the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services to abolish the vacant positions of WIB Board Administrator, classification number 39155, pay range E, and WIB Executive Assistant, classification 39151, pay range 13, as outlined in Exhibit A, attached thereto and made a part thereof, in concert with resolution number 95-15, just uh, ratified by the board, relative to the designation of Warren County as the fiscal agent and administrative entity for Ohio Area 12 Workforce Area, effective July 1, 2015, with these changes resulting in a decrease in the full-time staffing level from 224 to 222 positions, and further to authorize uh, the update of the appropriate internet links and appendices accordingly, effective July 1st. Is there a motion then to adopt the revised table of organization um, for our, our Department of Job and Family Services and also to authorize the update of the appropriate internet links and appendices? I will make the motion. I will second the motion. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Bob, you must be glad to. <laughs> is, is this a show? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's Warren County, it's, and it's their turn, too, and I'm yeah, glad right. that they're taking their turn on this. Share it around. Pass it around. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do we have any add-ons? No add All right. We'll take a five-minute break, then, and as we prepare minutes. the minutes. You know, is there a motion, then, to approve the uh, minutes of today's session? I'll make the motion to approve today's session from June 15, <coughs> 2015. I will second that motion. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. And is there a motion to adjourn today's session? Motion to adjourn? I will second. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Thank you all for joining. God bless. We are adjourned. <laughs>